Hello friends, this video on triangles part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. Let's take one more example. In a quadrilateral ABCD, if the bisectors of angle ABC and ADC meet on the diagonal AC, we have to prove that bisector of BAD and BCD will meet on the diagonal BD. Nothing is clear. Let's again draw the diagonal. So this is my quadrilateral ABCD and let's mark this point ABCD, any quadrilateral. Bisector of angle ABC and ADC meets the diagonal AC. So let's first draw the diagonal AC and now we'll draw bisector of angle ABC and AC, ADC that meet the diagonal AC. So let's draw the bisector of angle ADC and angle ABC. The question says that the bisector meet at this point in the diagonal. So we have drawn this way. We have to prove that bisector of angle BAD, BAD and BCD will meet on the diagonal BD. Sorry, this is my diagonal. So what I have done is I have drawn the diagonal AB and AC and BD. Correct. Once I have drawn the diagonal AC and BD, now the question says bisector of angle ABC and ADC meet the angle AC. Maybe somewhere here or somewhere here, I don't know. So let me draw first the bisector of angle ABC and ADC. So bisector of angle ABC may be somewhere here. Bisector of ADC is somewhere here. And it meets the diagonal AC at a particular point. At this point, it meets. We have to prove that the bisector of angle BAD, this angle, and BCD this angle will meet on the diagonal BD. So let's draw this. Let's draw this uh, the bisector and this bisector and let's assume that this meet at the point. And that's what we have to prove it. We have to prove that AQ and CQ actually meets at point BD. What we have done, we have first drawn the quadrilateral. We have done the we have done drawn the uh, diagonals and then we have drawn the angle bisector of ABC and ADC. So here we can say that this is angle 1, this is angle 1 actually, this is angle 1 dash, this is angle 2, this is angle 2 dash, if this is 3, this is 3 dash, if this is 4, this is 4 dash. Correct? And we are told that angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash. Angle 2 is equal to angle 2 dash. Angle 3 is equal to angle 3 dash. Angle 4 is equal to angle 4 dash. That is what we are told. Also, we are told that the diagonals that is uh, of ABC this, this diagonal and this diagonal meets at point P that is BP and DP meets at AC. So we are told AD by BC take this triangle AD by DC is equal to AP by PC. Why? Because 2 is equal to 2 dash. Since angle 2 is equal to angle 2 dash. Also we are told that AB by BC is equal to AP by BC. Why? Angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash. But why is this same? Because P is the common point where these two diagonals meet and that too it meets in the AC. See, so we are told that this P lies in diagonal AC, the point where these two bisectors meet. So AP by BC is equal in both cases. Since AP by BC is equal in both cases, I can say that AD by DC is equal to AB by DC. That is the equation I can derive. That is the first thing I can do. Now let me think what is the next step. 
the question is telling me to prove that the bisector of angle BAD and BCD is this AQ and CQ meets the diagonal BD. See this Q can be here also, we can assume. It can be here also. It may not lie down BD. But we have to prove that this Q is something that lies on BD. So let's assume that they are not meeting at the point Q. Let's assume that this is point Q and this is point Q dash. So this is the actual angle vessel. Let's assume this way. This is the actual angle vessel. Correct. Assumption. We will prove that Q is equal to Q dash actually. So we are assuming that they are not meeting at Q. So if you take this point A, if you draw this angle by circular, this meets BC at Q and C meets BC at CQ dash. So if we assume that way, then in that case, since 3 is equal to 3 dash, I can say that AB by AD, correct? AB by AD, AB by AD, this is Q is equal to BQ by QD, but BC by, let's take this triangle now, BC by DC will equal to, now since this is meeting at Q dash, it will become BQ dash by Q dash D. See, I am assuming that instead of CQ, it is CQ dash. CQ dash is the angle bisector of, I am assuming that CQ dash is angle bisector of angle BCD. Assume this, this becomes CQ dash. So this is my equation. Now I have seen that from these two equations, I can rewrite this equation as AB by or sorry BC by DC is equal to same thing written here become AB by AD. Why I have done this? BC by DC is equal to AB by D. Why? Because this part has BC by DC and this part has AB by D. So you can prove both are equal, that means Q and Q dash are same. If you observe these two equations carefully, you can prove that this is equal to this, that is angle 4 is equal to, I mean uh, equation 4 is equal to equation 5, then I can prove that Q is equal to Q dash and that's what I am doing. If I rewrite this equation 3, I get BC by DC, that is this part, is equal to AB by D, this is this part. So comparing 3, 4 and 5, I can say that BQ by QD is equal to BQ dash by Q dash. With this, I can say that Q and Q dash are same point. If they are same point, that means Q, that means the angle bisector of DAB and DCB meet DB at one point. See, don't get confused in this. What we have done is we knew angle 1 is equal to angle 2, uh, 1 dash, 2 is equal to 2 dash, 3 is equal to 3 dash, and 4 is equal to 4 dash. Now, since we were told that BP, uh, it's, uh, DP and DP meet at point P in AC, right? The angle bisectors meet at a fixed point in AC. So we wrote this equation. We wrote this equation. We found the right hand side to be equal. So we wrote this equation. We rewrote this equation in this form. Now, for the second part, since angle this was true, A B by A D was true because angle 3 was equal to angle 3 dash. So this was true. Here, since angle 4 was equal to angle 4 dash, so this was also. 
Now, when we compare 3, 4 and 5, we found that 4 and 5 are equal. So, we proved that BQ by QD is equal to BQ dash by QD. Since we proved that BQ by QD is equal to BQ dash by QD, we can say that Q is equal to Q dash. That means both are same. And if they are same point, that means both this angle bisector are meeting at one point. And let's take one more example. If the bisector of an angle of a triangle bisects the opposite side, we have to prove that a triangle is isosceles. Let's draw the triangle. This is triangle ABC. So let's take this angle A and we we'll draw the angle bisector of this triangle. This is angle A and this is equal actually. This is 1, this is 1 dash. Right? Angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash. Now the question says the bisector of the angle of triangle this A bisects the opposite side. This is B, this is this point is equal to D. So B D is equal to D C. Given angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash and BD is equal to BC. We have to prove that angle triangle is isosceles. That is to prove AB is equal to AC. It's a very simple question actually. Since angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash, I can say that AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. Very simple. Now since BD is equal to DC, this equals 1. So I get AB is equal to AC. Since AB is equal to AC, I can say that triangle ABC is isosceles. Very simple question. Very simple application of this formula, angle by sector formula. Angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash. So AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. Correct? BD is equal to DC, so this becomes 1. So AB is equal to AC. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.